Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm your host, Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. We're gonna to talk about the two types of men who are seeking love, the two types of men who are seeking love. Now, really quickly before we get started, uh, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button wherever it's at. And also check out the links below. I've got a free gift for you if you're a woman seeking advice when it comes to understanding men. Check out my free gift below. Okay, we're going to talk about the two types of men who are seeking love. Um, <laughs> okay, I've categorized men in two different categories. Okay, category number one is I'll believe it when I see it. I'll believe it when I see it. Okay. Now, what these men are is they're basically searching for love from the place of fantasy. And what that means to say is that they're searching for a relationship based on how they feel. In other words, if they feel good with a person, then they're most likely going to begin down the path of pursuing a relationship. Okay, if they feel good with the person, they're going to pursue the path. In other words, they're coming at it from the perspective of, I won't believe in love until I actually feel it, until I actually see it, until I am actually in the process of experiencing this. And what we've learned in the dating and relationship realm, and this is certainly true of therapists and, and those who study human behavior, is that the, there's, and the reason why I said fantasy earlier is the fantasy is that chemistry equals relationship success. Chemistry equals relationship success. In other words, if you have intense chemistry with someone, that's going to lead to relationship success. In fact, I've always said the bodies are piled from here to the moon for people who believe this fantasy. Because what we have discovered is that for a relationship to be successful, it takes a lot more than chemistry for that to be successful. And we understand the need for compatibility in there. And, and when I meant chemi when I talked about chemistry, we're really, a lot of people believe that chemistry is love. Hence why I said earlier, I'll believe it when I see it. I'll believe it when I see it. I'll believe it when I see it. In other words, when I ex you know, experience this, then I'll believe it's real. I'll believe it's love. And for a lot of men, as well as women, they're more hyper-focused on chemistry as their entry vehicle into a relationship, into love. And while this does happen, you know, there's an old saying that men find love through sex, right? We're, it's driven by that biological piece, by chemistry, men find love through sex. But that's more, I mean, that's more antidotal because we've come to realize now that a relationship takes a lot more moving parts. It takes compatibility. It takes the ability to blend lives together. Do you share the same values? And then ultimately, is this person an emotional grown-up? Is this person emotional grown-up? Because we've also recognized that people who are emotionally stunted or emotionally immature, you know, men get labeled emotionally unavailable, but I'm here to say is every man is capable of expressing in his feelings is, however, most of them are, again, they're capable, but they're very immature in the sense that they haven't experienced enough of being able to express their feelings because they haven't learned the skill set to do so in a healthy, um, you know, happy way. You know what's fascinating though to me is women are actually no different here because women have an equally hard time expressing their feelings in such a way that's seen, heard, and understood. They all want, you know, ladies, I know you want to be seen, heard, and understood, but if you want to be seen, heard, and understood, you have to learn to express your feelings in such a way that you know, can be seen, heard, and understood, okay? This is one of the reasons why I highly recommend, I've got to go find it, the book by Marshall Rosenberg. Nonviolent Communication by Marshall Rosenberg. This helps you uh, communicate your feelings in a way that's seen, heard, and understood. Okay, so you got the gist of that. Now let's talk about the second type of man who's seeking love. And this is the man who uh, operates when I, when I believe it, I will see it. When I believe it, I will see it. When I believe it, I will see it. Now remember before, I'll believe it when I see it, okay? In other words, they're waiting, 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 waiting for some sort of sign for them to dive into love. But I'm talking about those men 
who operate from the place when I believe it, I will see it. In other words, they're coming from a place of awareness. They're coming from a place of desiring a healthy, happy relationship. And these men are also vetting women on whether or not they're going to even choose these people to date. In other words, they're actually vetting, they're being discerning, they're, they're, they're really trying to determine if you're a good candidate for them, not based on chemistry, not based on, on physical connection, but that overall, do we share the same values? Do we have blendable lifestyles? And lastly, is she emotionally mature? These are the men who recognize the value of understanding the mechanics for how a relationship works and they're choosing women based on that. In other words, they already believe in love. They're just going to be choosing their candidate. And if you're not familiar with these kind of men, these are the men that truly uh, are more um, rational with respect to when, with respects to when it comes to seeking a relationship or love. I highly recommend you check out the book. I talk about a lot of books. Uh, Eight Dates by, Marsh, or by John Gottman, Eight Dates, because this really leans into what it takes to be in a healthy, happy relationship. And the men I'm talking about, these men who when they, be, they believe it, they'll see it, they're operating from understanding the types of relationships that work for the long time, long term. Because these guys aren't going to waste time just chasing sex, chasing that hope, chasing that belief that they're chasing for Cupid to hit them in the butt. A lot of men and women operate from that perspective. And I can tell you, the men who operate from a place, because I believe it, I will then see it, are more discerning and they're actually evaluating if, they're, if you're a right partner for them. Ah, so I've identified the two types of men they're seeking love. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this because I came up with this one today. Uh, please post a comment below if this resonates with you. If you have something to add, if I miss something, please post a comment. I want to hear about it. And again, if, my, if what I just shared with you resonates and you'd like to have a personal touch, in other words, you'd like to get on the phone with me and maybe talk about whether or not working with a coach is right for you, check out the link below to schedule a one-on-one -on -one call or get my free gift or get my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? which is listed below. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up this video as I always do, giving you a big gigantic, big gigantic, ah, big gigantic Jonathan Bear hug, if I have your consent. Ah, oh, thank you. Mm. Wishing you a wonderful day. Thanks so much, bye-bye now.